Welcome to the Shapeshifter Escapes Breakout EDU Challenge. Um, basically, the backstory is that Shapeshifter is a character who has been put behind bars because he is giving students misinformation in uh, on math tests. So the authorities have locked him up, but he's escaped. So our challenge is to try to find out his location that he has hidden for his crew to find. And if we crack all these codes, we'll find his location before his crew does, and we will be able to put him back behind bars. Um, the focus of this breakout is geometry, fourth grade geometry specifically. And I start off by breaking the kids up into six equal groups, equal-ish groups. And uh, each group will get three sheets of problems. Now the structure of the sheets that they're getting are all the same, and I laminated these because I will be using them in multiple classrooms. So to go along with it, I give them an answer tracker so that they can record the words that they're collecting as they solve these problems. Um, group six has a lot of repeat words, so that would be good um, as more of a checker. Maybe your low group could do group six, that way they can check their answers against group one, but the problems that they're solving to get those words are different. It'll make more sense when you see it. The importance of all these words is that, is that they're going to feed into five different posters that I have hanging, and I, I'm hanging them very close together so it's very obvious that these words go onto these posters. Um, so for example, one of the posters is focusing on symmetry, and when they get all these right, it will say, how many lines of symmetry, symmetry does each shape have? There are four shapes on there. They have to figure out how many lines of symmetry they have, and that will give them the code to unlock the four-digit combination lock. Another poster that I have right up there is a classification of shapes poster, and I also have a QR code next to it. And I use an Erasma again in this breakout EDU, but I did not want to say use Erasma to scan, or scan my QR code to subscribe to my Erasma channel, because if they knew that, they could... Um, just ignore this challenge. They wouldn't have to figure those things out. So they will subscribe to the channel and what you do is you don't have to sign in but you say open in Erasma and then it'll immediately take you to Erasma and when they figure all this out it says scan me with Erasma to figure out what to do next. So they would scan this sheet specifically and um, it tells them exactly what to do with the shapes that are on this page which is basically they have to count up how many shapes have no parallel lines they would write that down, how many shapes have exactly one pair of parallel lines, and how many have two pairs of parallel lines. When they figure out the right combination, which it's spelled out in the Erasmus, they will open the lock pencil box, and inside that will be a UV flashlight. The next poster, or a poster, is measuring angles poster, and this is actually what they're going to need the UV flashlight for. This is kind of a doozy. Um, it will say... Write the measurement of each angle, so re referring to this, light the angles that add up to the given sum. So at the bottom here, this first one says 165. So they have to find the two angles that add up to 165, and it says write the value of the smaller angle first. So they would write 45 and 120, and look on this sheet and see what arrows are there. Um, and it's very important that they get in order because it is going to unlock the directional lock. Next one, or another one, is a classification of triangles. Um, this one says, order the amount of right, acute, and obtuse triangles. Look behind the trash. So once again, they're counting just like the classification of shapes. The right triangles, the acute triangles, and the obtuse triangles, and they're writing those, that information down. Um, it goes right acute and obtuse. That'll give them the three-digit code. And I'm trying a new lock, which is not part of the kit, but it was just fun. You could always use another pencil box or um, something else, but this one is, when you're selling your home, you have those lock boxes outside. It's kind of tricky to use. You have to push, pull clear down, enter in the code, and open it, and inside will be the key. So the key will unlock the key lock. And the last poster that we haven't talked about yet is the mystery word poster. And this one says, what is the post-it word of page 47 of class president? I just found a random novel that I had, which happened to be class president. I'll have that out and about somewhere easy for the kids to see. They'll turn to page 47, and on the post-it it says, not heads, not heads, but tails will unlock the word lock. So that is the shape shifter escape walkthrough. 
And when they break out, they will get a letter that Shapeshifter has written to his crew. And it says, memorize the location and destroy this paper. I'd hate for the authorities to get a hold of it. But we'll turn him in. And then we will take a picture and brag that we broke out and captured Shapeshifter. Good luck.